What's up, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who have made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall to those C-suite and senior level positions. My name is Ryan Williams. And today, as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. Welcome to the show. Yeah. So this one, we, uh, we got some game related. So uh like i was speaking in between breaks like uh, i haven't seen this since like the old uh call it call of duty slash halo days where people bought aim bots and things like that but every now and then they picked up a virus or a trojan uh and so that has reared its ugly head so this article comes from the threat post threat post it's called activision is warning that cyber attackers are disguising malware a remote access trojan rat in cheat programs it's a very long title but um, kind of break down what a rat is. So uh, a rat is a, a kit that you can potentially install uh, unknowingly to yourself. Like you're just installing some executable you think is going to help you out or some program that uh, is just sus in some way. And then this gives uh, attackers the ability to remote into your, uh, your device and then do malicious things such as use you as a zombie or steal your data or uh, like exfiltrate cookies and passwords and things of that nature. But this one is uh, particularly a problem because it has what's called a, uh, a dropper. So this one is called COD-dropper version uh, 0.1 is the one that they found so far, but it's probably multiple of them where it can install another program in another program. So you pretty much just hose up your whole system. They can install things that we don't we're not even aware of yet. So zero days and things of that nature or things that already exist like BlackRock, things like that, like still your uh, credentials. I think BlackRock can steal from like over 30,000 different types of credentials or something, something ridiculous. So uh, you make yourself super uh, susceptible all because you want to cheat. That's the, the mm-hmm. hilarious part about this, right? So I don't want anybody's system to get hacked, uh, not only because it costs them money, uh, to, to fix, you know, whatever damage has been done, but also because they make other people susceptible to being hacked as well. So you make the system vulnerable by being uh, a, a part of the attack surface, right? So uh, in this case, uh, kids are doing it because they want to be better at Call of Duty. Uh, Warzone is like one of the, the most popular, hottest FPSs right now. I know some Call of Duty haters out there. I don't play anymore. My reflexes are trash. Um, but mm. I, I, I still like download it and then play around with it like a, a match or two before my son takes over my account. He, he plays it. Um, and you, I, I doubt you'll even be able to tell the, the file size difference. So another problem with uh, Warzone is that it's ever expanding. So they've had a couple patches that have trimmed some of the fat off, but because the assets are so big and they're so detailed, uh, it's taken up like a quarter of people's hard drives just to play Call of Duty. So the, this, this rat being installed is just a drop in the bucket, right? You won't see your program go from 200 gigs to 200 and, and you know, 0.5 gigs or whatever. The size of this thing is pretty small, but you will start to notice when uh, you, you start to see that your, your account's acting weird or you start getting notifications because you don't have MFA turned on like uh, the Von Keys warning you about. And then they jump from account to account. And now your Ubisoft account, your Activision account, your Nintendo online account, then your bank account, all hacked. So yeah. don't cheat. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Yeah, that's that's right on. I mean, hey, it's, uh, I used to be really big into Call of Duty back in the heyday, but I haven't uh, really played it in a minute. Um, uh, I, I forgot what the, the latest one that came out. I played the, like the demo for it, but I haven't played uh, much of it at all. But I... I think it's uh, obviously it's one of those things where uh, it's almost like I don't know. I wonder if this was almost like a uh, kind of setting these people up, the people that run these cheating programs. Cheating in, in video, online video games has been a big deal for a long time, and uh, I know a lot of people, you know, get frustrated by it, including myself. I uh, I uh, occasionally run across people online that cheat, even people that run like like some DDoS type thing where they like make you crack that crasher system. Even when I'm playing like Destiny on uh, my Xbox, Destiny 2, I, like I occasionally when I'm like playing, uh, they have a, uh, a game mode called uh, uh, Trials, where you, you pretty much have a three-man team going against another three-man team. And uh, I think some people look up your stats and they think if you're a bad, you know, if, you, if they think if they think that you're a bad matchup for them, or you, you, you maybe you're too good of a player, that they're running some sort of program that like almost kicks you offline and like disconnects you from the match and kind of automatically forfeits you. 
Um, but things like this, I mean, obviously people are trying to use these, these cheat programs and then now they're getting hacked. So it's almost like a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a, a eye for an eye type thing where they're like, they're trying to take advantage of a program, trying to, trying to break into a program and now the, pro the program is breaking into your system uh, to, you know, uh, relieve you of some of your, your uh, security. So whether or not it's, you know, obviously the proper thing to do if they're trying to use this as a mechanism to like get back at people or if it's just like it happened to be a program that somebody just took advantage of a, take, took advantage of and trying to uh, implement some security mechanism or some hacks to get into people's boxes. But um, nonetheless, it just kind of, it, it's a, a warning to people out there that are using these hacks just to, just to be aware that, you know, you want to take the chance of using hacks, you may end up getting hacked yourself. And then um, also, you know, the game from developers themselves are going to, they've got their increase in their, their footprint and, and uh, security mechanism. And when they identify you, you may be, you know, banned from using that service anymore. You may be banned from that game. So that's like a, something else you got to look out for. So, I mean, people want to take the chance of, uh, of cheating. I've never cheated on any games, not, you know, uh, and be honest, I've never cheated on any like online games or anything like that. Maybe I've, I've, uh, uh, Use cheat codes back in the day on like on the Nintendo and Genesis and stuff like that. The up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right type thing. But I never use any like online multiplayer cheats. So uh, shame on you if you're doing this. Shame, shame, <laughs> shame. <laughs> but with that, I, what you guys got? What you got on this, Shannon? So <laughs> I ain't played Contra in a while, so I, I don't right, know. right. Like, like, Contra codes, but, uh, yes. you know. <laughs> but, uh, but no, like you kind of get what you deserve at this point, right? Let's just right. like, if somebody tries to rob me, they come in my house with a gun and the gun blows up in their hand when they try to, when they mm -hmm. try to shoot me, like you kind of get what you deserve, right? Right, like, right. I don't, I don't have a lot of sympathy for this, but I'm not a big video gamer, uh, going online video gamer, I should say, right? So like, I've never played Call of Duty. I've never played any of those shooter games. I think the most I ever got into like a shooter game was uh, was Gears of War. You know what I mean? Like that's as far as it goes. But even then, I never go online, right? Um, whether it be to hear people say dumb stuff, you know what I mean, or or, or whatever. Um, my reflexes have been trash, Ryan. So I and like, <laughs> like I was ever good at any of these games anyway. You know what I mean? Like we put some Madden or some 2K on. Yeah, that's a different story, mm -hmm. you know. But right, right. Yeah, I just never been a big shooter guy. So like for me, it's kind of you reap what you sow. You know what I mean? You reap what you sell. If you're going to do this, then okay, you deserve the opportunity to lose your banking information, you know, access to your accounts, uh, get them ransomed back to you. You know what I mean? Um, there was, um, man, what was I watching? I think it was a documentary I was watching, and I think it might have been maybe League of Legends or something, but somebody got caught in a tournament, like one of those big time tournaments now. This guy got caught um, somehow, like his aiming thing or whatever. Oh, yeah, I think um, it goes by clicks per minute or whatever. Like, yeah, I, I think it, I know you're talking about like it, it, it was inhumanly possible for him to, to be clicking yeah. and scrolling as fast as he was. And so they were like trying to get yeah. him to back away from his console and whatnot. And I guess he was trying to delete it. He was trying to do something to delete it. But this was during a tournament, like where they had it, it had to be League of Legends or whatever. It was one of those five on fives yeah. things. But yeah. And like they got video of this guy just trying to get rid of it and he got disqualified for whatever reason. Mm. But like, I mean, maybe, maybe because it's such big business now maybe that's why it's going to become more prevalent, right? Like those tournaments, they're paying these teams like, you know what I mean? $250,000, a million dollars. Yeah. I mean, to win these tournaments. So because there's money in it, maybe for them, they're just kind of like, well, I need to get, it's kind of like steroids in baseball, right? Like I need to get every advantage that I can, you know, or steroids in football even. Um, mm -hmm. I need to get every advantage that I can to try to get out here and get on a team and make some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but for me, like this doesn't, it doesn't affect my world that much because you know it's just for me to get a laugh at like ha ha now your money <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? but, but uh no it's 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 you shouldn't do it right and hopefully the lesson gets learned but i don't know like i don't think people will like it's one of those things where they're like okay well i'll just try to be careful to do something unethical next time right but, right yeah so i, I think yeah uh, i think it's it's twofold so i don't disagree with you at all like i think it's kind of funny uh, but thing number one, most of these people playing these games, let's say that, that the average age of a gamer is like 37 now or something like that. Like it's like my age is the average gamer age is, is pretty up there. Uh, but uh, that being said, you know, that, that generational difference between the, the X's and the millennials, a lot of X aren't, aren't playing uh, the game their kids are. Uh, in my case, I, I, I would play if, if, I, if my reflexes weren't so trash, my son's playing, but I have to warn him, like, don't, 
don't download this because um, uh, it's 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 a bad it's a it's a a bad analogy, but it makes sense in my head. Uh, in this case, it's like a drug dealer being robbed for their drugs and money because you can't call the police. You know what I mean? Like you can't do it. So you can't complain to Activision that, oh, they stole my stuff. Well, how'd they get it? Well, I downloaded this cheat bot. You can't say that. So, right. so there's that. So there is no there is no recourse. You can't get your stuff back. If anything, you're just going to get yourself banned. Like A, because now you have a footprint showing that you downloaded it. B, when they start to parse and audit their systems, they're going to be looking for this. They're going to be banning these people in mass. And then um, C, obviously, um, uh, attack services is pretty big now. So like you said, gaming is big money. So uh, all these people have these systems, they're playing these games. And then this, this rat is out there um, with his sole purposes to steal your stuff. Uh, and then it weakens the entire network and it makes everybody susceptible to God knows what else could be coming. Because with the dropper, we don't know what they're going to drop in there. Like it, it could be, like I say, it could be BlackRock, where they're trying to steal your credentials, but it could be something a lot more malicious where they're trying to uh, damage servers or they're trying to, trying to steal people's stuff in mass. So uh, I guess teach your kids uh, a little bit of cybersecurity. You know what I mean? Like you should be teaching them a lot. They probably know a little bit more than you. But in this case, uh, like obviously they don't know enough. They're, I think it's called, I think it's actually called cheat. Like one, one of them is called Warzone <laughs> Cheat Engine. Cheat. <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean it's like, like no yeah yeah it's not even being original about it it's like yeah this is warzone cheat game a cheat uh yeah. download <laughs> Wait, and it's, it... well, I have no, go ahead. You, you guys can educate me on this actually because i'm not a big like i said i'm not a big online gamer right so like the ban that they do on these people is this based off gamer tag is it based off email that's tied to the tag because like even if you ban somebody right so like you even if you ban shannon one two three right just yeah. uh, that's not one of my tags but it so, is okay it's not, it's not my tag. It's not my tag. It is. I've, I've seen you online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, if you ban that, right? Like, I can go and just create another gamer tag. And even if it's going by my email, I can just go create another email account. Like, so, you know, yeah, there's, there's different levels to it. So, uh, when Microsoft or Sony bans you, they do it by uh, your, uh, your console's MAC address. So, it's, that's tied to your PSN ID. So, either they can ban the console itself, which uh, it used to happen back in the day when people were doing Halo, Halo cheats and whatnot. Like bad enough, they would just ban the whole console. Like you, you were not allowed to be back on here. Or when people would bust NDAs, it would be funny because they would lose their entire system. Like your system can no longer be, because they would take screenshots of things that they shouldn't be showing because the console's in R and D. So they just ban the entire console. But they could just do it by tag, where they, they give you a timeout basically, or they cause you to have to buy another tag. Which uh, I mean, that's another you invest in another what is it, 15 for Game Pass or whatever? Uh, like 9.99 for a uh, PSN. So you have to reinvest money. Like, so the console isn't banned, but your, your ID is banned. Or they could do both. Um, so it just depends on how bad it is. Like something like this, I think because uh, people are actually downloading um, a, a patch that does this for them, it's probably on the PC. So I'm sure they're just banning the account. So Activision is either banning banning your Activision account or they're asking Steam to ban your account or what have you. I don't think this is prevalent on consoles uh, just because uh, they're usually closed, closed loop systems. Like typically you don't have the ability to, to uh, pull in um, patches and, and things of that nature. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, mods. Yeah, typically like unless you're uh, a Skyrim or something like that, there's no mods on, on the marketplace. Um, so I don't think they they I don't think they ban your entire PC. That would be kind of hard to do. Um, but console is yes. fairly simple. Like they they you're, you're, you typically your your MAC address is tied to it. Like right now uh, I have two PS4s, right? So the, the master is at home, uh, and then this one is the uh, the the secondary. But you have to name a master. So if they wanted to ban my uh, uh, PS4 altogether, they would ban the master account, and then they could take a step further and just ban rise up i just you're, you're done with until you, you pay us more money mm. yeah but. i was gonna tack on to that as well as you mentioned the um um yeah like you know you were asking about the shannon but the um you know ryan brushed on it but the fact that these companies will like ban or restrict like your account um same like you mentioned people can go and just create a different account like a different you know username different email whatever um at the same time i think what may deter people from doing that depending on the game 
certain games you collect things over time and you like you're trying to build up your character you're trying to like even in uh um war zone uh, you gotta as you start leveling up your character you get more you get higher rank you get more weapon access to weapons and uh you know modifications things like that so if you start a new account you got to start from the beginning even if you're cheating i guess you you're you have to cheat and start off with your entry level gear and build back up and then by that time maybe they find you again and then you get you know banned again on that account and then you got to go to another account it's kind of like it's almost like a waste of time or like kind of a waste of effort you not even get to enjoy the game like you really would um so i think that may be a small deterrence if, they, if they're not banning your entire console or, or system um just being able to ban that that account may be enough of a deterrent even if they can make another account and just keep doing it it's like it's like even for like a hacker i think that'd be become uh you know, maybe boring as well as like not really worth it to like just keep it in your accounts, like, you know, compromise or get them a uh, ban each time you try to hack. And you got your entry level guns and stuff. And like, okay, I'm running around like a newbie and I'm able to, you know, see through walls or whatever. And then you get banned and you got to start all over again. But um, that seems like yeah. that, would hurt. that seems like that would hurt more because then it's the hours that you put in. Yeah, like, right. I can, I can, I can pay 10 more dollars, right? But right. I can't invest a hundred more hours. Like that hundred more right. hours is done. There's no way to get yeah. back unless I do a hundred more hours. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Yeah. It be. So yeah, mm -hmm. that that could that could sting a little bit. Yeah. Right, right. Especially a game like Destiny. I know Destiny in particular that I've been playing. That's like a you got to invest time in that. And if you want to like build up your care to get all the weapons, all the good stuff, get a good good armor, all that stuff, you got to like invest time into it. You can't just like start a new account and like, oh okay, I'm gonna get right back into this and just start playing again. It's gonna take you hours upon hours to get all your stuff back. And uh, you okay. definitely don't want to waste that time. It's probably, like you said, it's worth like, I'd rather just spend like $10 or something, you know, change my name or something uh, versus like starting a brand new account. Yeah. But I think they uh, probably ban uh -huh. like, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, I'm assuming when they ban your account or your name, it's like, it's like tied to like the, the uh, like, what do you call it? I can't think of like the active, active directory term, but like the, like the GUID, like you, so your account has like a, a ID. Yeah. So even if you like change your name per se, you, you pay the money to just change your tag. I'm sure that's the same account. And it's like, they kind of ban your account, not like the name itself per se. So that uh, you'd have to like start like a brand new account before they can, before you can get on without being the, or before you can get back onto your system. So, but nonetheless, I think it's a, uh, I think what they do, you know, just banning the accounts themselves is, is a pretty good deterrent overall, depending on the game. Some games, maybe they're just like, you just log in, you don't have to collect anything, you just go in there and just start shooting things. But not many games are like that nowadays that I've seen. Most games, you got to like, you go in there and you got an objective, you got prizes and, and gear that you got to collect over time and you get you get better better gear, it makes you faster, it makes you, you know, shoot faster, grab your guns, change weapons faster, all this kind of stuff. So if you don't have all that gear, then you can be kind of like kind of hose. You'd be like behind a behind the curve, so to speak. So that's just some just some thoughts on that. Yeah. Nonetheless, I it's good. It's good learning, and yeah. I, I guess I just showed everybody that I'm the fogey. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're the old man yeah. of the group now. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Pong was the best game ever made. <laughs> I remember Pong. That was the greatest. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. It's all good. No, nothing wrong with that. Like my, my battle royale choice is still Tetris. So there it is. Oh yeah, Tetris. Yeah. 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 Tetris. It's 99. a game like that though. I don't know. I don't know if you collect anything in that. If you get uh if somebody's hacking it, they start a new account, they don't care. Like oh, I'm playing Tetris. There's no uh prizes yeah, you, or anything. You do level up though. Yeah, you do level up. You do level you up. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you get backgrounds and music and stuff like that. But okay. nothing so, nothing yeah. is serious. I'm not getting no no armor or nothing. Right, um, right. But I don't have to hear people talk either. That's the main reason I left. But when Halo, That's Halo uh, Infinite comes out, I'll be back. I'm still going nice. to Halo. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward I, to that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I play my son. Like he's he crushes me and everything else now because of uh, reflexes and just time and whatnot. But we play Halo and I made him quit. <laughs> damn, damn. I'll never, so I'll never. I, I used man, listen. So I used to be one one of the best in the world in the world, Craig. What? <laughs> damn. Damn. But with that, I'll do the outro. So thank you everybody for uh for listening, tuning in. Uh definitely like, share, subscribe our videos, share with your friends, join the group, uh, go to www.theothersideofthefirewall.com. And that way you can get to our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram. And then personally, if you want to reach out to us, you can reach me at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I'm at Twitter, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, IG, and TikTok. And Levon. Yep, you can hit me up on the on the Twitters at Levon Maynard. 
there it is. So y'all take care. All right, take care, everyone.